Hi, my name is Dr. Surakshit Bhatina. I am an endoscopic gynec surgeon and today I will be explaining to you the steps of a segmental bowel resection with endometriotic clearance for a 28-year-old woman who is suffering from excessive pain and bowel issues during her period. We see a large endometrioma with a hydrosalpinx which is drained completely. Second, we open up the pararectal space and perform the sigmoid mobilization. We then identify the IP ligament on the left side. And we separate the ovary from its additions within the POD. We now hitch the left ovary towards the abdominal wall to give better visualization of the pouch of Douglas. And we free up the right side ovary as well from its attachment and hitch it to the abdominal wall. We bisect the nodule leaving one portion on the uterine torus and the other end on the bowel. We use both cold scissors and the harmonic for performing the step. Next, we remove the nodule from the uterine end on the left side. The disease-free spaces are dissected on either side of the rectum. And now we finally come to the central dissection. In this step, you notice that we are using a bubble probe to help us with the dissection. The entrapment over the ureter is removed and for this particular patient we will be checking the IVP after 3 months and reassessing the left ureter. Right uretic dissection is now carried out. And the nodule on the right side of the uterus is now being removed. Bilateral salpingectomy is done because in this situation, unfortunately, both the tubes appeared irreversibly damaged. Ovarian cystectomy is complete and the ovary is then restored to its normal anatomy by suturing. The proximal and the distal bowel segments are now being prepared for stapling. An opening is made on the proximal bowel to pass the anvil.
Using linear stapler, the proximal segment is now being stapled. We now stable the distal segment. After which we lock in the circular stapler and the anastomosis is complete. Final bit of mobilization is done to ensure a tension free anastomosis. And finally, we check the integrity of the bowel with methylene blue. The bowel specimen is loaded into an endo bag and retrieved to the 12 mm port. And finally, we place an interseed, hopefully to prevent further additions within this area. And this completes our procedure. As you can see from the cut specimen, this patient had three nodules, one large obstructive nodule and two smaller ones posteriorly. Thank you so much for watching.